first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so here in this mistake series video we will be seeing some of the mistakes that usually every student used to do at the beginning of learning aptitude for the competitive exams or even i have seen some students are making these kinds of mistakes in the competitive exam itself so these kinds of mistakes usually happen only because of the time pressure in their exams because student have to solve the question within 20 seconds or within 30 seconds so because of the time pressure i have seen many students or usually they used to do these kinds of silly mistakes on their exams that is especially on the mathematics so in order to avoid those kinds of mistake so this mistake series video will definitely help you to avoid such a mistakes in the upcoming competitive exams so don't forget to watch all the complete mistake series video so that it will be very very helpful if you are preparing for the competitive exams so and one more important thing so many students those who are asking all my videos all my feel free to learn videos in offline either it can be a pen drive mode or it can be sd card mode where you can get the pen drive and you can able to watch all my videos what i posted on my channel feel free to learn in offline so get the pen drive or get the sd card start learning for the upcoming competitive exams if you want any details how to purchase it whatsapp us so our team will contact you soon so thank you so much and now let me move on to the mistake series videos so friends now let me move on to video number seven that is on mistake series where the question is based on square root or else cube root so just see the question square root of x is equal to four or else I have taken some example question square root of x is equal to 25. So here I have seen many students, right, beginners, not the experts, beginners will make a mistake on this area. So what is our target? Our target is to find what is the square root of x is equal to 4. Most of the students will say the answer for this question will be x is equal to 2. Is this correct or wrong? It's actually wrong. Why? Because what students think is square root of x is equal to 4. Many students will think that we need to find what is the square root of 4. Then they say the answer is 2. Similarly, square root of x is equal to 25. They say like they, they think like beginners will think like it is square root of 25. So we need to find what is the value of x which is 5. This is actually wrong. Don't do that. So friends, listen here. There is a difference between finding a square root of 4 is equal to question mark or square root of question mark is equal to 4. There is a difference between both. So here, our target is to find what is the value of x. The value of x, after finding the value of x, when you square the value, when you find the square root of value of x, resultant should be 4. Right? So in case, if you can't able to understand it, if you are still making mistake again and again, so the easy way to crack this question here is square root of x is equal to 4, right? So remove the square root, better remove the square root. You know, if you remove the square root, it will be 1 by 2. Yes or no? Right? Square root can be written as 1 by 2. Cube root can be written as 1 by 3. So now the next step, x is equal to 4 square. Understood? When you bring this 1 by 2 towards a right hand side, it becomes only 2, which is 4 square. So now x is equal to 4 square. So x is equal to 16. So we can say that answer for the question is 16. So in case if you can't able to understand the normal method or better go like this. Right. Remove the square root, write it as 1 by 2 and bring that 1 by 2 towards right hand side. It becomes square, then find what is the value of x. So similarly, look at this question, square root of x is equal to 25. So first what you need to do is, so x power 1 by 2 is equal to 25 and then x is equal to 25 square, then x is equal to 625. Understood or not, right? So this is one way of solving a question even if it is a cube right I have taken another one question here which is a cube so cube root of x is equal to 27 right so what students used to do is we need to find what is the cube root of 27 I have seen many students think like this they convert the question like cube root of 27 and they say the value of x is equal to 3 because they take cube root for 27 no that is wrong actually right so here we have to find which number cube is 27 right that is the way we need to find the answer so better if you can't able to understand that technique leave it and just remove the cube root can be written as 27 yes or no when you remove the cube root that can be written as x power 1 by 3 so x is equal to 27 cube so x is equal to 19683 right 7 7 sir 81 yes 
So 27 cube will be 19683. That's it. Easy or not, right? So similarly, if it is x power 1 by 4 or x power square root, cube root, fourth root, whatever be, do one thing, remove the square root and you will get the numerator that is power as 1 by 2, 1 by 3, etc. After that, bring that number towards right hand side it becomes square cube or 4 and then multiply the number that will be the easy way to solve where you will not make any mistakes in the exams right so i've seen many beginners will do this so hereafter i hope you won't do this mistake so try to in case if you are doing these kinds of mistakes try to rectify it that is the reason i'm posting this video so friends thank you so much for watching this video bye so friends and one more important thing in my feel free to learn platform we are providing one course that is how to make uh, videos education videos on a youtube platform so we will teach you all the techniques because i have seen many students who are keep on asking me i want to share the knowledge to the other students how i can make a videos proper education videos on a youtube platform so this is a green screen video you can able to see the background is completely green screen i am using a software a tab and a pen so i will teach you all the steps right how to make a proper education videos and how to start your youtube channel where you should invest money and where should not invest your money and wasting your money is not needed so if you if you have a passion of teaching or if you like you want to share your knowledge to the other students by teaching and youtube or various platform we will definitely help you how to make a proper education videos it will be a complete paid course i will told you already i have told you why it is paid everything so in case if you have any details whatsapp us we will we will help you to join in the private class and we will make you and we will help you to make an education videos on your own so thank you so much friends for watching this video bye